Hello, everyone. Today, I have the pleasure to present you the topic of corporate social responsibility, CSR, and ambivalence. First, we will introduce the topic and explain the concept. Then we will understand its ethical relevance in the business context. And then we will conclude and continue with a Q&A session. Donna Wood writes that the basic idea of corporate social responsibility is that business and society are interwoven rather than instinct entities. Companies and stakeholders are interdependent and influence each other. So companies not only have um, an economic um, responsibility for themselves, but also are socially responsible for its stakeholders. So, uh, CSR is becoming more relevant in the last decades and CSR reports even became monitored in some countries such as the UK or Australia. The CSR pyramid of Carroll contains four different dimensions of responsibilities that the um, companies have to fulfill toward their stakeholders. The first one uh, are the economic responsibilities. So the company has to be profitable to sustain in the long run. Then the legal responsibilities. The company has to run under the rules and the regulation where it operates at the local, national, and international levels. Then the ethical responsibilities. The company has to act with morality, ethics, and integrity. And on top of the pyramid are the philanthropic responsibilities. They are not required by law, but are implicitly expected by the stakeholders. So based on voluntarism, the companies can um, socially be engaged on top of their business uh, activities, such as donation for charity. We'll take the example of Starbucks for the old presentation as our case. So here, economics responsibility, Starbucks um, generates a net profit of $4.2 billion which enable, enables the company to sustain in the long run. It uh, meets and even exceeds the legal requirements of the USA with a minimum wage of 15 uh, US dollars, even if the minimum wage is 7.25 US dollars in the US. Then um, it also invests in ethics and introduces a code of ethics where the ethical principles and rules are depicted. Uh, Starbucks also invests in a lot of causes. Uh, for example, they donate for nonprofit organizations that uh, help refugees. So uh, the company is, uh, has all those responsibilities toward uh, its stakeholders. Stakeholders are very important because they impact as well as are impacted by the company. We can distinct the primary and the secondary stakeholders. And it's important to analyze those stakeholders by knowing their urgency, legitimacy, and power to understand uh, the impact on this on um, the company. So yes, they can really play a role. So it's really important uh, to analyze those stakeholders and also have a strong, open, and transparent engagement, communication, and interaction with them. On the example of Starbucks. Uh, so Starbucks has um, primary stakeholders, such as the consumer, uh, which buy the products, the supplier that are supplying the raw materials and the employees that are selling the products. And as secondary stake stakeholders, um, it has the government that is setting the rules, for example, the tax rates and um, yeah, the minimum wage. And the media plays a key role in the communication of the company. Here we can see some example of Starbucks with the investor relations, the annual meeting of shareholders, etc. CSR has becoming very relevant in the last decades in the business context for three main reasons. First, the states uh, lose their power and cannot control the company uh, that are operating like globally, like the multinationals company. And there is also a strong pressure on companies to uh, act ethically and morally. And lastly, um, there is a rise in new and social media. Moreover, the scope of CSR is uh, nowadays global and intergenerational. The impacts of the company are impacting the whole world today and in the future. Um, 
so on the example of Starbucks, um, Starbucks is a multinational company. So it makes it difficult for a state to control um, the company over, uh, overall in the world. There's also strong pressure on Starbucks to act ethically and morally. Here, people are protesting in the streets uh, for, uh, to denounce the bad working conditions of Starbucks employee. Um, a man here has a poster where it's written people over profits. And as so for Starbucks, it's very important to be present on the social media. If a scandal happens, it, it can really easily influence the reputation of the company. And Starbucks, um, yes, is operating in 80 countries in the world and is running since 1971. So the impact of Starbucks is global and international. CSR is very relevant in the business context. It has benefits for the company and for its stakeholders. It improves the corporate image and reputation, the customer satisfaction, and the employee loyalty. The CSR rating system also reduces information asymmetry and enhances the transparency between a company and its stakeholders. So, that was the positive side, but CSR is an ambivalent concept. Due to the specificity and uniqueness of each company, it's very difficult to measure. It's impossible to perfectly quantify CSR. So the CSR ratings only give an approximate and simplified view on the CSR performance of a company. And in response to that, company can either resist or adapt to improve their rating. Uh, with resisting, um, it's meaning the company can manipulate the ratings or create a new version of um, the rating. Or they can adapt and really rethink their corporate values and ethical principles and change their behavior towards ethics. So this can lead to the problem that company only focus on the CSR rating while not actually improving their real CSR impact. We can observe that with the example of Starbucks, which is on the one hand resisting, but also adapting itself. Um, yes, um, Starbucks is giving misleading information to the evaluators because it's accused of greenwashing. Um, Starbucks say that the, reusable, uh, the, the cups of Starbucks are reusable, but uh, a lot of are not um, recycled, which is uh, greenwashing. But on the other hand, Starbucks also adapt and support local and global COVID-19 initiatives, promote equality in the hiring process, and set environmental goals that have to be achieved by 2030. So they can also adapt to have a better ethical behavior. So to conclude, um, CSR is becoming very relevant due to the power loss of states the strong pressure on companies to act ethically and morally, and the rise of new and social media. Uh, corporate social responsibility is now a concept that the company are socially responsible uh, towards its stakeholders and have a lot of benefits for uh, the companies and its stakeholders, but CSR uh, ratings are impossible to be perfectly quantified which reflects the ambivalence of the concept. Thank you for your attention. And now we can move to the Q&A session.